What's the crack, lads? We are back with just a short video on the big time Nakamura player pack review and training guide, right? So these are kind of confusing a couple of people, but it's actually very simple, right? So these players have got a booster that is not always on. This booster is only activated when you do have players, 20 players or more in your squad that are from the J League, right? So the Japanese J1 League as you see here, then you will get a plus three to all stats. Otherwise, you will get a plus one or a plus two, depending on how many players you have that are from the J League, right? So you will see here that this is giving you a plus three, maxing that out with the manager boost, which is going to give you a plus two. You are effectively getting a plus five to every single stat that you see here at level one, right? Now, we haven't trained this guy up yet, but we'll show you a build that we have gone for I think this is probably the best build for him as kind of like a hybrid attack and attack and midfielder that takes a lot of shots, is very nimble, has got some really good player skills as well. But yeah, essentially what you will need to do is have a squad like this where you have all your bench and your starting 11, right, that are going to be from the J League. So here's an example here. So you will be able to get, this is on one of our free to play accounts, you will be able to have like one, two and maybe three players that are not from the J-League. Everyone on your substitutes bench will need to be from the J-League, and then the rest of your players will need to be from the J-League. Obviously, we're just using this as an example. These are not leveled up. They're all level one, really low-rated players. We just bought them for the purposes of this video to show you that they all these players are from the J-League. You pack Nakamura, and you pop him in here as an attacking midfielder. You can have room for three other players within the squad, and Nakamura, you're going to be getting a plus three to max out his boost. And to be honest with you, lads, unless you're going to do that, I do feel like that this Nakamura pack is just not worth it. Yes, he does have absolutely incredible stats across the board with the plus five, and it's probably one of the most unique cards that they've ever released. But in saying that, right, even though he's got B rating and standard form, this card is good. The other card is better, in my opinion, which we'll get to in a second. He does have brilliant player skills as well. Scissors feint, double touch, rising shot, and long range shooting. One touch pass, true pass, and weighted pass, and captaincy and fighting spirit with pinpoint crossing. Can play right mid, center mid, or attacking mid, if you so happen to have him there. Now, right, I do feel like that this card is probably one of the better options. Um, goes to 31 levels. This is the build that we have actually gone for um, with him here. So we're going to show you right here. Uh, the build that we've gone for. Hold on a second. There we go. So this is the build that we've gone for here. Um, let me just pop them up there. So this build that we have here, right, is going to be kind of taking the plus five into consideration because you're going to have the ball control, dribbling and tight possession. Tight possession is key for this card, in my opinion. Plus five onto that if you are taking those steps into consideration. As I said, if you are just spinning Nakamura and you're going to be putting him into your God squad and not building your squad around a J-League squad, then I just think that it's a waste because you can have better boosters or you can hold off until some upcoming legends on Monday or whatever. But this card here with the manager boost and with the booster boost that you're going to be getting from him, the total package booster, you are going to be getting ball control at 95, dribbling at 92, tight possession and lofted pass with finishing as well at 90 and of course you're going to have low pass at 85 you're going to have your free kicks and curl well into the 90s speed at 81 if you have 10 hag that is going to be 82 and then of course your acceleration is going to be 86 with kick and power maxed out nearly at 98 balance at 87 and then of course stamina at 91 so it is a phenomenal card right i think on the second one this is probably a better card this second pack uh, version of nakamura which is a younger version of him He's down as a 99 here as well. He's down as a 20-year-old. He's got slightly different player skills. Um, when you look at him here, he doesn't have fighting spirit and stuff. But listen, it's it's pretty much the same type of card, uh, in my opinion. One touch pass, first time shot, a more attacking base again. I think this is probably the ultimate one of it because there's just so many different ways that you can build it up. But as I said, are you going to really rebuild your whole squad to get Nakamura in? You're going to have Nakamura, and if I had to choose probably a really top-class goalkeeper, a, a really top-class centre-back, and then maybe a striker, and then the rest of your team, J-League, yes, you could do it, but I think you will be at, an, at, an, at a disadvantage just to get one player in. That, while is good, I still don't think is as good as Messi um, that has come around, or around right? But as I said, with this, um, with this build here, you're going to have a beastly, beastly player. One of the best players in the game by a mile, right? 
Bear in mind, as we said a minute ago, you're going to be getting a plus five to every single stat you see on screen here is going to be getting a plus five. So dribbling becomes 87, tight possession becomes 90, low pass becomes 85, and so on and so on. Finishing is going to be 91. Uh, you don't even need to go that high in the finishing. You can take one off that if you want to, but you'll have nowhere else to really put it. Acceleration is going to be 90. His balance is a little bit weaker here. Um, so you could, depending on how you want to train him up, you could actually reduce a little bit here of the dribbling if you wanted to obviously we do like to have tight position at 80 or even the finishing i mean the finishing at this at 88 is going to be more than enough if you wanted to just pop one more into dexterity to get that balance up to 75 which with the boost is going to get you to 80 i do think this is a phenomenal card as well and it can also play in a multitude of positions or different ways in through the center or through the attacking midfielder so look the rest of the pack in here is it worth spinning i think for 98 other cards that are not going to be anywhere near where you want to be. I personally don't think so. And I honestly don't think that you're going to craft a squad around this whole uh, this whole player, this one player, this whole team, right? But it is our first plus three booster that we've seen. We've already had Messi with a plus four. So yeah, that is just a quick training guide and review on those. I personally think I'll skip this one and don't uh, go for them because I'm waiting to see if they do add another booster, maybe like plus five for a different version of a card or something like that. I don't know. I mean, they have to all do, just go up now and up and up. But yeah, that is the, the training guy for the two of those. I know a few people were asking for that. And uh, yeah, I mean, he would be brilliant in events if you did spin for him. And obviously it's 50 less players than a normal pack. But yeah, um, that is just the training guy for the two of them. So don't forget to like and subscribe, lads. I will be back very, very soon with some more reviews. And we'll talk to you then.